Advent, as we look forward to the coming of Christ and to help us get ready for worship today, the, the Burts are up here, Robert and Brenda Burt, and they're going to lead us this morning as we come into worship. Thank you, guys. Well, last week we lit the prophecy candle, and today we're going to light the Bethlehem, Bethlehem candle. It urges us to prepare for the birth of Christ and for his return. The Old Testament prophecy of Isaiah 43, a voice of one calling, in the desert prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. A New Testament proclamation, Luke uh, 2, 5 through 7. Joseph went to Bethlehem to register for the census with Mary, whom he pledged to be married to him, and expecting a child. When they were there, the time for the child uh, came, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. In Luke, we read that one result of Bethlehem's hustle and bustle, preparing for the census, was that there was no room for them in the inn. It is possible that in all of our hectic holiday planning, if our Lord isn't exactly shut out, he may be accidentally left out. In the second week of Advent, may we keep Jesus' birth central to all of our Christmas preparations. While it is true, it is a time of great rejoicing and a time of great preparation, please do remember that this is the season for Christ. Let us pray. Dear Father, help us to prepare for your coming. Help us to keep Christ included and invited never lost in the busyness of our lives. Thank you for your intricate preparation in bringing Christ to a lost and needy world, and for your promise that he will come again. Amen. Thank you, Bert.